Is that on the agenda? Now would be the time to come before the board. I'm probably not on the agenda. Right. <laughs> come before the board then. Laura, say what you yeah, she's got the water wheels. You're bringing her with you. <laughs> 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 They're in my name. <laughs> I had a water leak for two months and was not notified on January the 10th when the meter was read. So now she got another bill today where it's run January. February with a leak. Sunday, I called Scott Fields when she got her bill over the weekend. He checked everything out. There was no leaks coming from inside the house or under the floor. Nothing was running because the boys was working on Spring the Street, Street yeah. digging up a water line. And I asked one of them when they finished, go and cut her water off. And they did till Monday, is that correct? They did, that was last weekend. Yeah. And I called Gordell Ely. So he came to the, the new water line. But not one person notified us in January there was a leak. In the past years back, <coughs> you know this makes me nervous to be up here. It's not like when we used to True. not be nervous <laughs> back in our day. But anyway, when I called Gordell, they hooked up the new line. And I don't think she should be charged $200 for sewer that did not go through the sewer. And then I think in the future, they need to knock on the residents if that meter is running and let the people know so that water be cut off till they get it fixed. So you lost that much water in two months, January, February. Uh, uh, you don't, you don't uh, of course I know where it is. <laughs> they helped me out. <laughs> Five years ago, when I bought all this property, Christy, Christy, give you a little more. Okay. Yeah. No, I have a now, I've been talking to Kay, oh, and so yeah. we discussed yeah. since she did. But have I two still plumbers. don't think. Yeah, since she did have two plumbers, you know, and they said that it was outside. We did give her her sewer back, except for what she would normally have used. So we credited back on this one, a hundred and. Uh, $86.71. That's off the sewer because that gives her a normal sewer bill. Mm -hmm. Now, the new bill she's talking about is the bill we're working on now. It's not been sent to her yet, but I did give it to Kim today. Mm -hmm. I've also already adjusted it to show Kim exactly what the next one would be with the sewer off of it. So mm -hmm. we have took care of the sewer because it did not go in the sewer. So we did take care of that. And but I she have does have to pay for the water. That was used. But the sewer so, bill is usually $38 a month. Well, we did it for six months and it ended up being like thirty like thirty eight dollars and something. Right. So and that's what we you know, that's what she got. So you're saying for. she's paying thirty eight dollars for that's the sewer. For the sewer only. Yes. Well that that's, that's, good, that's what but the that's not no. the way you gave it to Yes, ma'am. That's where the credit shows right there for sewer. The my See? bill yeah, my bill was four hundred and fifty eight dollars and eighty two cents. The credit at 186.74 brings it down to 272.08 for the January bill, mm -hmm. you know, and then the one that's not come out yet that she gave me today, 368.55, and they've adjusted it down to 220.89 with a credit of 147.66 on the bill coming to me. That will be in March. Yes. But both her water and sewer averages. She's got her bills here to show you what it is each month, haven't you? Well, I just got last year, or not last year, last month. With like $70 a month for both of them. But now that, what she has there is, of course, with the water I didn't bring that she I don't have the bottom for run out. Not the sewer, but the water. So what she owes is that 272 but that's water, a normal sewer bill plus tax. That's so. the water that was running for two months, she wasn't notified. One month. One month. 
Yeah, because we're not done February yet. Right. March. So it'll be a total of Four ninety-seven. Yes. Ninety-seven. Well, I was kind of right figuring up here. Yeah. For two months. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying since she was not notified, she should not pay for the water that ran for two months. I don't know how you do that. Uh, I mean, it's. I mean, you got a leak. You automatically go up and knock on the door and tell them. Hey, no, no, we're in no. Here. We're driving. We don't stop. We don't even read the mirrors. But when you oh. got to the office, you knew it was not normal, and you should have called. Is what I'm saying. Because okay. used to, you did go to the door and let people know to get it cut off right okay. then and not yeah. wait two months. Yeah, we don't have a. I mean, a check system like when you go to each house that shows what the do y'all carry anything with you to show what water usage was for the year, the month prior and just tell what it is now? We, we just keep driving. Do you look and see if the meter might be flying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but when they no, get the can't. figures, they know <coughs> that it's not normal. When just they download like the computer, then they'll, they'll know it before we know it, so they'll download it in the computer. You guys yeah. usually call we'll know it if yeah. it's so high. It has to be so high for it to like it. Yeah. So is there is there any way in uh, in the way that these water rates are like when you when you realize that one is a little bit high, is there any type of a check system that, that we could have in place? Let's just say if somebody's over uh, running like over double what they normally use, you know, normal usage. Is there any way that, that our system could let us let that be flagged for us, say, hey, this person has gone up that much? I'm just asking a question. Here. Yeah, you have to look through all of them. But I didn't know if the, the system itself would alert you. But that you have to hand, go and hand do it with each one. Uh, it doesn't automatically alert us, no. That's something that once it's downloaded, we have to go through and then we have to find it. I got you. Yes. Just want to make sure on that. I just didn't know. There was one lady... Bless her heart, walks from TRW, trailer park down. And I pick her up and bring her to town to pay her bills. If I see her walking on Levin Day, you know who I'm talking about, bless her heart. Just walked to the bank, to the water department, everywhere. She had a $700 bill. And I said, oh. Can't you all help her on that bill? And they said, no, we don't have anything like postal leverage. So she paid what? I don't remember when it was. She paid a little bit, and I said, well, let me pay $100 on her bill. Now, that's pitiful. She didn't draw $400 a month if she grew that much. To have a water leak, $700? So it's not just that. Well, that would hurt anybody. Yeah. Y'all might have fixed things down here, right? Yeah, that's what the house is. We are now. It's like you can see that when you get old, but it don't. There is a payment schedule. There is a payment schedule. They set up with people that's got, that have to leak on their side of the meter. Well, it sounds like they are working with her. Yeah. Well, 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 they are working with her. Well, they are, but who wants to pay $186 on two separate ones? I don't either. I meant to not be notified. That's the problem. Of course, I know they mail them out now and somebody does the bills for you. Is that right? No, we do our bills. You do them yourself? Well, then. We used to have them mailed out. Now we do it all. So then it should could have been called, surely. system, I mean, would that be impossible to do? Like, you know, say a bill 40% more than it normally well, they, is. They usually check, I mean, they they have a check system where they look into it mm -hmm. the best they can as far as if somebody's got a water leak and when they see it, yeah. you know, they call the customer and tell them. But, you know, in this specific case, I don't know. I know it's hard to catch everything. We never knew about 
it never, I never saw it. Put it that way. And, and she didn't Sunday. know it till last Sunday when I had to call Gordell there. <laughs> and of course, with the weather, we always have pipes that get froze and right there on our side. And I mean, it, you know, it's just we do the best we can with it. I mean, I'm sure there may be some technology out there, but I don't know if we can afford it to where it you know, flags them, them in the office on the computer. But that'd be, you know, some meters that... Is there meters like that, Kelsey? But they're quite expensive. I mean, we... The new system we go to will probably have it on. Huh? The new system we go to will have it on. Yeah. I, you know, I can't answer what you want me to tell you. They told you what <coughs> you are adjusting the bill that I know of. And uh, have we got any other questions? We've had other, a lot of other people that's been here. Well, not a lot. Mm -hmm. There's been a few people that's come in here that's told us, and, you know, what's happened to them. And, uh, and these nice ladies have been nice to adjust what they could for the sewer off those bills as well. So, you know, we're not treating anybody different than we have against somebody else. And they do say they're on payment schedule if they need it. Yeah. But, but that's, you know, that, that's... I think our whole board would, would like to see, you know, if affordable, the right type of technology to come in that would flag something like this, you know, if, if it happens. I think going forward, the customer needs to be notified. Because they're paying for something they didn't use. I agree with that. But Kim, what was that time? Uh... The four adjustments, four fifty eight eighty two for one month. And your adjustments with what? One eighty six seventy four. And then the bill coming is three sixty eight fifty five with three sixty eight fifty five with an adjustment of one forty seven sixty six. Where's this, where's this address? Uh, Stanford Street, 416 Stanford. When are we going to get these meters? Uh, that would be a whole new, a whole new system makers. We'd have to, you know, we ain't got that in the process right now. Well, you don't have to get excited. I just well, no. <laughs> that's quite a bit of money here, Mayor. Don't be throwing me. But, uh, it's, it's, I mean, we just know Here's that... Here's a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> With one customer. <laughs> you know, that when they, when, if we look in the, the next system, we'll just have to look in and see if it, if it offers that. But, but, but we've not sat down and done a new system for all. Because if you start replacing meters, we've looked at trying to start on a new system, and keep the old system and just replace it as it goes. But we just... <coughs> That's an expensive thing that we got to budget out and make sure that we can. How many years ago was it we put those electronic meters in? Was it like a like ten or twelve years ago? Nine or ten. Huh? Nine or ten. Nine or ten. Nine or ten. Okay. <coughs> Why don't we make just set a rule how to pay these bills? Once they get them, it's already done. I mean, we just need to know how well, to. Well, I mean, they already said that they're hard yeah. to work with them. Yeah, to yeah. Let them. They yeah. reduce it by 10% and then they set up on 12 months. Okay. 12 month payment, 10% and 12 month payment. Okay. So that's in place, yeah. right? Yeah. And she said they took off late fees, too, mm -hmm. I think she said. Yeah. Yes. We adjust, I mean, mm -hmm. but I mean, as far as yeah. any early notification, I mean, that's. No, well, there's I don't just, see how you know, we I mean, do that. You know, until you go read the meter, it's not going to send us a. Anything you know, you know that says pay yeah, this is like a whole that. new system before we could do that. <coughs> and of course, there's additional expense putting in a new line. Yep, absolutely. You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> if you want your water leak stopped, yeah. yeah. If you want to keep mm -hmm. wasting money. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Well, we're we're responsible up to the meter, and then from the meter to the house is the, of course, the mm -hmm. property owner. That's the only way we can do that. We know that. Wouldn't none of us on the cities. Right. Except 
should have been notified, well, like Houston Electric <laughs> notified us on their meter when they read it, got driving by and got back, and it was spinning, and they had to come put us a new meter in, Houston Electric did. I mean, they caught it right there. So that's what our complaint is. It should be taught before it goes two months. And I don't know how to train them or how to set the either. system up. I will say the plan will look into it. And the water board will see what we can do, if there's anything we can do. Because we're not the only ones, I'm sure. And they probably don't know, you know, what to do except pay it. Which we're going to do, but they may not even get it lowered. Anybody else have any questions? How Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank How you. do they differentiate between a weak and normal water usage? Your previous bill. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll show you that hers is just $70 a month. I'm sorry, sir. What? No one goes around read, physically reading the meters. You just said back in 2015-16 you put in these digital meters. Right. So it saves you probably a lot of man hours going on. So how do you differentiate between a, a leak, however you remotely monitor it, the, the usage? You know, you, you find a leak, you probably, how is that, you, you see what I'm getting at? Like how you, the water through, passes into the meter. It comes through on your meal. You'll see it. <laughs> right. And I'm, that's not why I'm here. I'm just kind of yeah. curious. Um, yeah, you'll see it. You'll see a big difference in your usage from one month to the next. Anybody else have anything to do with It would. Mine's how it is. Not worse than some of them. If not, we'll enter into our uh, received the minutes in the mail. I hear a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Move to second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any public comment concerning the items on the agenda? I guess we've got a water leak relief. This is Mr. Ben. I Ben Whitson of Water Leak Relief, LLC out of Crossville, Tennessee. Um, I hate to, I'm going to try to hurry up a little bit because I know I'm pressed for time. And I hate this, but I'm using the example of what we just heard. That's exactly what I do, is take the uh, burden off the customer having to pay those leaks um, for a small fee each month. I think the example I've given you all is for a couple of dollars a month, we can provide up to $2,000 for that customer twice a year. And, and when I say twice a year, one month can often spill over into a second, or one leak can often spill over a second. So there's up to four months in a year that we would pay uh, those leaks. So, you know, then it's also created a lot of administrative headache here, you know, having to come to the board to deal with and so on and so forth. I mean, we take all of that under our services. We handle this. Um, as far as the staff having to calculate bills and do all those things, work with the customers and back and forth. If we were to, to offer our services to Tanner Rogersville, that's done through us. We would only need one email to the staff to request a 12-month average, and then we take care of it from there. So the goal that, that I strive for is to make your customers very happy, but make your staff like dealing with them because I've made their lives easier. So that's really what, what I would be um, here to try to tell you all that I want to do. Now, there's a lot of detail here that I've given you on those packets. And, and I'm happy to go into as much detail as you all like. Um, I do want to give you a quick update since the last time I, I spoke to Rogersville. Um, I think we were coming right out of the pandemic, you know, end of 2021 there. We had started our company, made it through that, and had about eight utilities that we served. Over the last two years, we now serve over 30 utilities from Jackson, Tennessee, all the way right here in Hawkins County, uh, where we serve. Lakeview Utility District. So we have grown substantially. Um, we are still only in Tennessee. We plan to stay right here in Tennessee and serve the uh, customers of utilities and municipalities in Tennessee, uh, which is 
kind of what we started for. You know, it's just to be the, the local choice. So, um, my main objective tonight, though, was to address questions and concerns that you all might have about our program. I'm sorry I'm not going into it deeper because of time, but I do want to make sure I leave you all plenty of time to ask me questions because I do want to address any of those things for you all tonight. I've got a question. I mean, yes, sir. we just had a case come right in front of us that what would have, if you would have been in place, what, what right. would be different about these people walking away? That customer away? calls our 800 number because when she's received her bill, that's her notification, she had some sort of irregularity. And the question was asked about how that's identified as a leak versus just normal usage, we do require some proof that the, that the leak was fixed. They do need to find the leak, fix the leak, but we work with them on that. Um, I'm going to get off a little bit here and just our terms and conditions. One of the things that we've done is change that and relax some of the terms as far as how quickly they have to have it repaired. Not everybody can get somebody to, to their home in 10 days to fix these leaks. So we relax that language a little bit to say, as long as they're taking reasonable measures, to limit the loss. We're going to work with them. So they found the leak, whether it's high bill or if you all did contact them, whatever the, the first um, identifying point is that there's a leak. They call us, we get the average from the utility, we work with the customer to identify the leak's been fixed, we pay the claim. It's done that quick. Um, typically, we pay them twice a week, so we're, we're churning through those claims. We don't have a lot of time for it to be a uh, drawn out process because that's more burden on us as well as the staff. So we're trying to eliminate all of that for you all. Do you all pay the individual or do you pay the town? Directly to the utility. Okay. They will pay, the customer will pay their average and then we'll pay everything above that up to whatever limit you all would like to choose. Um, we offer several options. The example that I've used for you all was $2,000 because I think that's probably going to cover most all leaks. It is customizable. If the customers wanted to choose a $3,000 limit, they could. Um, and that's all right there around $2 a month to the customer. So in that instance, they would just, I, the water department would have to send another bill to the customer with their average? So they wouldn't send anything to the customer specific to the leak. The customer's going to have received that bill um, that shows they've had a leak. High bill is usually what notifies everybody. I don't know how, if it's like in Crossville, where when they have a leak out on their main line, it's disappearing somewhere into the rock. We never know that there was a leak until there's a high bill. That's their notification. They work with us to, to identify that, show us it's been repaired, and then we pay the utility directly in that instance. So we do cover anything from the meter to the house, and it can include sewer. So for, for a couple dollars a month, they can have coverage of the water bill and the sewer bill. So you all no longer have to write off any of those sewer bills. So implementation for something like this, I know that this was a great concern when you came sure. to us the last time uh, about who's the workload going to be put on. Right. So and, we, uh, we are here every step of the way through implementation. So local government, I believe, is who all you, you use for your water bills. I've worked with them many times. They know our program. They know how to implement it. Um, it's, it's a pretty simple process of just adding it to the bill. And of course, that's where I'm involved as well, holding hands, doing whatever I need to do to make that process go smoothly. I have worked with some um, billing softwares that are not familiar with the program. It takes them much longer. Um, I've actually even had to pay one of them because they just couldn't figure it out and I had to go visit with them. And so they charged me for my time to be up there, but that's the way it works. So. You know, the point is, is that I'm going to be very involved in that process to make sure that it's done correctly, whether that's me talking to local government with your authorization um, to help them out and try to make it as, as little work on your end as possible. Um, again, the, the really the only administrative tasks that you would have are the 12 month average when we have customers identified a leak, and then monthly we need a participation report, which I think is the last page in that packet takes about two minutes to fill it out, save it, send it to me, and that's the only step in the process that would continue month to month. What's the average cost to, like, say the average customer, like, per month, is it? Right at two bucks. Two dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And that's, that's actually, if you all decided, hey, that's, we're happy with two dollars, we're happy with two thousand dollar coverage, 
that has already been uh, through our actuary, so it could it's a it's that's a rate that Rogersville would qualify for. Um, again, if you decide you want different limits, I would need to get back to you on the pricing of that. But uh, you know, I have some that it's as much as four dollars and twenty five cents. But you know, that's just a lot of times just the size of the utility. It's the loss history that they have, so it all depends on that. But your loss would be the two dollars. I mean, customers could opt in or out. I mean, like you could be like I could do it and. Somebody down the street, not completely do it. optional. And the one thing I want to make sure to tell you as well is it doesn't matter if 50% of your customers call me and said, I don't want to do this. It doesn't change the rate, and it doesn't change the fact that we're going to continue on with the program. And there's two reasons for that. One is because that rate's based on a larger group, um, partially, but what happens is whenever the first group of customers decide, I don't want to pay $2 for this protection. About six months down the road, their neighbor, family member, somebody has a leak that would have been paid, and they decide to get back in the program. So that's that's why we, even if everybody but two customers decided to opt out, it's still offered, it's still available to them. So they're automatically enrolled, and yes, they sir. have to opt out. Yes, sir. They have a chance to opt out before it ever starts, correct? And, and that's where I was going, exactly. Um, so I've had one utility specifically have a little heartburn with that. So what we do is we offer that window of time before they ever see it on their bill to opt out of the program. Now, typically, 30 days, I send the notice out. Customers uh, receive it, can read about the program, has all the details of how it works, what gets paid, what doesn't get paid. And then that next bill is when they would finally see it on their bill. And then that starts the clock on the 30-day probationary period. Now. This one utility specifically said 30 days is not enough because a lot of people are not going to open that mail. We want to give them more notice. I can give them 90 days notice if they wish. And then with that utility as well, I gave them a 90-day period after it started that I refunded premiums if they decided they didn't want to do it. So I can be as flexible as you, as you guys would like me to be with that particular piece of it because I want to make sure the customer going to be in the program. I mean, we have a 97% participation rate. That 3% that doesn't want to participate probably wouldn't participate in anything for that matter if you were giving them money. But that's just the average of how it works out. Um, so that's how we're able to keep our rates down. Because if I had to just try to enroll everyone myself, that's going to go from a $2 fee to a $25 fee uh, to, to offset the marketing expense. So um, if I didn't have such a high participation rate, then I would feel very differently about enrolling everyone from the beginning. So, it seems to me like it would be a service to offer, like for, like for instance, it would have saved, saved yeah. this discussion we had tonight. Yeah. And if and people can opt in or out, I mean, if they decide not to, <coughs> to be in the program, then they come to us, well, you had a chance, then it's a whole other discussion. But, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I don't know, like, as far as implementation and all that, as far as you're all are concerned, but I mean, as far as my I see, I think it's a great service for yeah, the I community. Think let Kevin look at it, and they said, I was, you know, William yeah. was the last and a lot going on, so let Kevin take a look at it, and, you know, we can get back to us on that. I'd be happy to answer any questions you had about it. Um, one thing I do want to point out on the overview that I gave you, there are five references listed there. All 30 of the utilities I work with, I feel comfortable that if you call them and ask them about the program, they would tell you how, how happy they are with the services <coughs> and how easy the implementation was. Like I said, there was one but that was a little bit of a headache, so but they did not use a, a very popular software service. So local government is probably the most widely use, used. We don't use local government. Which one do you use? Which one do we use? Archie. Or no. That is the meters. Jayhawk right now. Which is one we've used. We're looking at some other things right now, I'm sure. It's been one of them things that we're, we're changing our billing over to postcards instead. Okay. Of, and we're working on that right now. So it'd, it'd be some, we'd have to have some discussions sure. before we could tell you exact. And that's all part of what I would be here to work uh, through with you guys. Yeah. Kevin, look at it and come yeah. back with us yeah. next month. Thank you, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Email on that, so if you just give me a shout if you have questions. Right. Thank you.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else to come before the board? No, no. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Second. Moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor, say.